Usually I cover politics and social issues, but today we'll be talking about technology pegged to the new release of the Apple devices. Now, before most of us like to make a phone purchase, we tend to compare existing and newer models. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I'm gonna compare the iPhone 6, not the iPhone 6 Plus, because that one's stupid. The iPhone 6 to my BlackBerry Bold 9700 circa 2009. Now the first thing you'll notice is the difference in screen size. The iPhone 6 has a screen size of about 4.7 inches and of course the BlackBerry has a much smaller screen size. It's about half the size. The difference of course is that you have the keypad here, which most phones have done away with, but the BlackBerry likes to keep it vintage or else I do. The other difference is the thickness. The iPhone 6 is about half the thickness of the BlackBerry here. Uh, the difference is you'll never lose it if it falls into your shoe or something. The weight is actually the same. They're both about 4.8 ounces. But another big difference is the battery life. The iPhone 6 will last for about 10 days in standby mode, which is actually the same as about the iPhone 5S. My BlackBerry Bold will last for about a day and a half in standby mode, as long as I don't actually press any of the buttons, and that's also because I've changed the battery three times. But the biggest difference between the two phones is basically the perceptions it will elicit from others. If you walk around with the new iPhone 6, especially in the next couple of months, people will basically think you're snooty techno lemmings, especially from Android users who will stop to tell you why the Android software is so much more development friendly. If you walk around with this BlackBerry, people will think you're clueless. You are stuck in an insanely bad contract with Bell or Rogers or that you work for the National Post. Sorry, colleagues.